my name is Kat and today I'm just gonna give you guys what you really want. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the scientific term for this is bookshelf porn. So yes, I am doing a quickie bookshelf tour today. Some of you guys have been asking for an updated one, especially now that the rainbow is gone. And I did just do like a 40 minute detailed bookshelf tour in April, so I am definitely not doing that again today. Today I'm gonna do a quickie tour, just to kind of show you guys how things are situated on my shelves currently. If you do want a detailed look at my shelves, then I will link the super long detailed bookshelf tour in the description and you can check that out if you want to. Alright, let's do this thing. So let's start with bookcase number one. This is what we have. Four shelves of books, one shelf of shoes. The top shelf is mostly paperback series, though the Heroes of Olympus is hardcover, as is the first Vampire Academy book. This shelf is exactly how it was pre-Rainbow. It is young adult fantasy trilogies with matching covers. This is my shelf of matching duos. Two books in a series or trilogy or companion novels that have matching covers. And finally, this last shelf of the first bookcase is where my tall series books have ended up. And then there are shoes. Moving on to bookcase two, top shelf, got some more mostly paperback series. There are a few exceptions because I wanted to keep my other James Patterson and Scott Westerfeld books up with their series there. Next I have another shelf of completed young adult fantasy series, though this shelf, unlike its neighbor shelf, does not have all matching covers throughout. Why? Next I have kind of a mixed up shelf. Some of these are standalones, some of them are series. Some of them are completed, some of them are not. Mostly this shelf is um, books of authors who I have elsewhere on my shelves and who I just needed a place to kind of put the extras. And next is another shelf of mostly tall books. There's there's the tall books and the, the height just continues over here, kind of. It gets a little bit floppy in the middle there. But yeah, we got some J.K. Rowling, some J.R.R. Tolkien, and then some other random tall books at the end there. This bottom shelf is like some comic books, some drawing books, music books, cookbooks, and some big ass adult books. Moving on to bookcase 3, top shelf, we have mostly paperback contemporary young adult. There are some adult books up there and some that are not contemporary and not series, but I just really wanted to keep the authors together, which is why that's that way. Next shelf is mostly young adult contemporary hardcover novels though there is at least one paperback and one novel that is not quite contemporary in there, but you know, every shelf has exceptions. And the next shelf is mostly young adult hardcover fantasy first book in a series and I do not own any other in that series. This shelf is kind of similar to the one above it. It is mostly young adult hardcover fantasy, although a good handful of these are standalones, not part of a series. And then down here there's some D&D books and some Buffy books and some binders and just really fascinating stuff. Bookshelf number four, top shelf, is mostly young adult contemporary paperbacks, though there's probably a couple fantasy up there and at least one hardcover. And below that is another shelf of I believe all paperbacks, yeah it looks like. Most of these are fantasy, some of them are part of a series that I don't own other books in yet, and the rest are just standalones or random books. This next shelf is kind of a random mixed up one. It starts with a little section of adult novels, and then there's some young adult hardcovers that were a weird size and didn't really fit anywhere else. Then I have two audiobooks, a handful of little classics, and then I have some books from the Song of Ice and Fire series and some from the Ender's Game series. And this last shelf of books here is another just mixed up shelf. 
Some of these are paperbacks, some of them are hardcovers, some of them are standalone, some of them are series. I'm just kind of running out of ways to organize my shelves. And finally we move on to the last bookcase top shelf. Uh, most of these are mass market paperbacks, a good handful are adult novels, but there are some young adults still up there. Next shelf I have a dusty green ukulele, some language books, blank journals, magic cards, and a small collection of arcs. By the way, I don't get arcs from publishers or anything, these are just some books that I've won over the last like seven years from book bloggers and vloggers and whatnot. On the next shelf I just have some non-fiction books, a bunch on writing craft, and then there's a couple extras in there too, and then just some boxes and my TBR jar and my little gold glittery jar of good things back there in the corner. Then below that I have a shelf with some old textbooks from school and a clarinet, and below that I have a jug of money, some blank CDs, and a dusty amp. And yeah, that's everything. Them's, them's my shelves. Do, 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 do. Alright, there you have it, a current quickie bookshelf tour, and that is everything I had for this video today. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you have a great night, and I will have another vlog tomorrow, so I will see you then. Goodbye!